Welcome back, everybody. This is Shoop Shop, and we are going to do the inner chiller test today. Um, so we can see what it, difference it makes with it uh, on or off, obviously. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I drove it home today, so it cooled down, but I'm letting the temp warm back up. And I'll do the first test with the temperature of the coolant about 10 to 20 degrees above ambient. Uh, which is what normal is um, it probably still will actually be a little better than um, the stock setup simply because there's more coolant so it takes longer to heat that coolant up as far as even with it out being cooled so uh, we'll just I mean I don't know how, how much of a difference it'll be but um, I know it's a little bit better um, as far as it's almost been a week with it on you know not quite but close enough um, normal driving with the AC on we're looking at about an average of 55 degrees when it's about 85 to 90 degrees out and that's in regular mode with AC in the cab um, and that's driving it if I park it could go down to about 50 um, also I noticed that in snow mode the pump must have been slower the intercooler pump because the temperature goes up five to ten degrees maybe not ten degrees but it it's definitely a difference um, it seemed like an auto and in sport mode I thought someone told me in sport mode only but it seemed like an auto mode the pump must have been faster because the temp does drop down um, so it's kind of nice if you just you know want to drive like normal and you're not worried about how cold it is you could put it in snow mode and it just won't be as cold but it, it's still going to be colder you know I would say that in snow mode it runs about 60 degrees so um, it, with that temperature obviously it's gonna be a little bit colder if it's colder outside um, in race mode you let's say you're simulating sitting in uh, staging lanes you're gonna probably be looking around 30 degrees maybe a touch colder uh, driving down the road you'll be in the 40s about 42 um, Again, that's with the hot temperatures. Um, today, it, the the DA is about 3,000. So uh, the temperature outside is about 81 degrees. It's about 70% humidity. So we're going to see, this is, I would say, a good test of with and without, see what the difference is. Um, so first, I'm going to run it, like I said, um, without using it at all. I'm going to leave it off from when we pull out of here um, until we make a run and see what it is. And then I'll put the chiller on and I'll make sure it gets cold enough and we'll do it with it um, as cold as I can get it and see the difference between the two. Um, that will show, I guess, the best case scenario or worst case scenario of it being hot and you wanting to cool it down. So instead of me running it cold first and then running it afterwards with it warmed up and someone could say whatever this is this is a better case the, the whole everything will be warmer so um we'll get to that okay the first run is going to be at about 100 degrees uh, and we'll see what happens um, the ambient temperature outside is about 85 so that's about where it would normally be sitting at. Five, between five and ten minutes I put the intercooler on for 
the inner chiller on and we're at 42 degrees. So when it gets into the mid 30s, we'll do it again. And then that's all it's gonna be. We'll see where we're at there. that uh, run there was I would say a significant improvement for just changing air temperature but uh, it, I started off at 42 degrees uh, cl climbed up to about 50 low 50s by the end of the run um, and I just turned around and started back and we're at 62 because I got everything the air conditioning is back to normal say that it's and this is something you'll be able to run over and over because the temperature is going to stay the same okay so overall looking at the the runs I made like I said the uh, run one was um, starting at 100 degrees um, intercooler temp um, and the other one was starting off at 42 degrees. The difference ended up being two miles per hour and, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> two tenths, a little more, two, I think, uh, 0.25 about increase, uh, quicker. So it's definitely making a difference. And like I said, you'll be able to repeat that over and over without any heat soak or anything like that. So that one run I did where you know without it you know even with the heat exchanger it's going to gradually get slower and slower so i definitely think it's worth it now this truck for me isn't uh for drag racing but all in all everyday driving with the coolant temps like that the throttle response and just the overall feel is very crisp and solid all day so there's no feel of any kind of it getting heat so you know you can t sometimes you can tell so i would say overall that's a win and there's that's the proof right there that was pretty much back to back i would say that there was 10 minutes between runs and and that was just so i could cool it down and i did nothing but push a button for the race valve to, to um close off the cabin and cool it off and that's that i mean it probably would have been quicker so i didn't wait till it, for it to get in the 30s maybe i could have done that but the truck will be faster if it wasn't what it is outside so that you know is making a difference too so i can't wait to try this when it's a little cooler out so uh hopefully you like what you see and you can subscribe and i will be i'll be doing that ctsv with the uh tank uh inner chiller is probably going to go on that car but not till winter time so um, I'm going to be putting the tank in and insulating it, just getting it prepped for that. But uh, anyway, we'll see you next time.